A blessed day, dear learners. Prepare yourselves for an exciting adventure of learning and enjoyment in this video. Today, we will delve into the captivating realm of Jane Biaget's theory of cognitive development, a comprehensive overview. As you engage in this enriching experience, please keep your well-being a top priority, and may blessings continue to shine upon you. Welcome to the Teacher Lumaban YouTube channel. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 What is the key characteristic of Piaget's sensorimotor stage? A. Egocentrism B. Symbolic thinking C. Object permanence D. Logical reasoning At what age range does the concrete operational stage occur according to Piaget's theory? A. Birth to 2 years B. 2 to 7 years C. 7 to 11 years D. 11 years and older In which stage do children struggle to see things from others' perspectives? A. Sensorimotor stage B. Preoperational stage C. Concrete operational stage D. Formal operational stage What is a criticism related to Piaget's theory regarding cultural bias? A. Lack of conservation skills. B. Western, middle class focus. C. Egocentrism. D. Abstract and hypothetical thinking. Which cognitive stage is characterized by the development of abstract and hypothetical thinking? A. Sensorimotor stage B. Preoperational stage C. Concrete operational stage D. Formal operational stage Please compare your selected answers with the answers listed in the answer key provided. If your chosen answer matches the one in the answer key, mark it as correct. After reviewing all the questions and answers, calculate your final score based on the number of correct answers. Point three. How did you score? Did you achieve a high score? If yes, congratulations on a job well done. If not, don't worry. We will help you deepen your understanding through this video. Jean Piaget, 1896-1980, was a Swiss psychologist and pioneer in the field of developmental psychology. 
His theory of cognitive development has had a profound impact on our understanding of how individuals acquire knowledge and understanding as they grow. Piaget's work has been influential in education, psychology, and various other fields. Here is a detailed overview of Jean Piaget's theory of cognitive development. Siya ay isang Swiss psychologist at pioneer sa larangan ng developmental psychology. Ang kanyang teorya ng pag-unlad ng cognitive ay nagkaroon ng malalim na epekto sa aming pag-unawa kung paano nakakakuha ang mga individual ng kaalaman at pag-unawa habang sila ay lumalaki. Ang trabaho ni Piaget ay naging maimpluensya sa edukasyon, psikolohiya, at iba't ibang larangan. Narito ang isang detalyadong pangkalahatang ideya ng teorya ni Jean Piaget ng pag-unlad ng kognitibo. Background Piaget's theory emerged from his extensive observations of children and his quest to understand how knowledge develops. His research focused on the cognitive processes that occur in the minds of individuals from infancy to adolescence. The theory is often divided into four stages, each characterized by specific cognitive achievements and the way individuals perceive and understand the world. Ang teorya ni Piaget ay lumitaw mula sa kanyang malawak na obserbasyon sa mga bata at sa kanyang paghahanap ng maunawaan kung paano umuunlad ang kaalaman. Ang kanyang pananaliksik ay nakatoon sa mga prosesong nagbibigay malay na nangyayari sa isipan ng mga individual mula sa pagkabata hanggang sa pagdadalaga. Ang teorya ay madalas na nahahati sa apat na yugto, bawat isa ay nailalarawan sa pamamagitan ng mga tiyak na nakamit na nagbibigay malay at ang paraan ng pag-unawa at pag-unawa ng mga individual sa mundo. Stages of Cognitive Development Sensory Motor Stage, Birth to Two Years Key Characteristics Infants explore the world through their senses and motor activities. Ginalugad ng mga sanggol ang mundo sa pamamagitan ng kanilang mga pandama at aktibidad ng motor. Object Permanence develops during this stage, understanding that objects exist even when not seen. Nabubuo ang permanenteng bagay sa yugtong ito, pag-unawa na ang mga bagay ay umiiral kahit na hindi nakikita. The development of basic motor skills occurs. Ang pag-unlad ng mga pangunahing kasanayan sa motor ay nangyayari. Pre-operational stage, 2-7 years. Key characteristics. Language development accelerates, and symbolic thinking emerges. Bumibilis ang pag-unlad ng wika, at lumilitaw ang simbolikong pag-iisip. Egocentrism is prevalent, children struggle to see things from others' perspectives. Ang egocentrism ay laganap, nahihirapan ng mga bata na makita ang mga bagay mula sa pananaw ng iba. Lack of conservation skills children may not understand that quantity remains the same despite changes in appearance. Kakulangan ng mga kasanayan sa pag-iingat maaaring hindi maunawaan ng mga bata na ang dami ay nananatiling pareho sa kabila ng mga pagbabago sa hitsura. The beginning of imaginative play and understanding of symbols. Ang simula ng mapanlikhang paglalaro at pag-unawa sa mga simbolo. Concrete Operational Stage, 7-11 Years Key Characteristics Improved Conservation Skills and a More Logical Understanding of the World Pinahusay ng mga kasanayan sa konserbasyon at isang mas lohikal na pag-unawa sa mundo. Mastery of Basic Mathematical Concepts and Operational Thought Mastery ng mga pangunahing konsepto ng matematika at pag-iisip sa pagpapatakbo. Developing Abilities in Classification and Categorization Pagbuo ng mga kakayahan sa pag-uuri at pagkakategorya. Logical reasoning becomes more developed, but abstract thinking is still challenging. Ang logical na pangangatwiran ay nagiging mas binuo, ngunit ang abstract na pag-iisip ay mahirap pa rin. Formal Operational Stage, 11 Years and Older Key Characteristics Abstract and Hypothetical Thinking Become Possible Nagiging posible ang abstract at hypothetical na pag-iisip. Development of metacognition thinking about one's own thinking. Pagbuo ng metacognition pag-iisip tungkol sa sariling pag-iisip. Increased ability for problem solving and scientific reasoning. Nadagdag ang kakayahan para sa paglutas ng problema at pangagham na pangangatwiran. Improved understanding of moral and ethical concepts. Pinahusay na pag-unawa sa mga konseptong moral at etikal. Assimilation and Accommodation Assimilation, the process by which individuals incorporate new information into their existing cognitive structures or schemes. 
Ang proseso kung saan ang mga individual ay nagsasama ng bagong impormasyon sa kanilang mga umiiral na cognitive structure o schema. Accommodation, the process of modifying existing cognitive structures to fit new information or experiences. Ang proseso ng pagbabago ng mga umiiral ng istrukturang nagbibigay malay upang magkasa sa bagong impormasyon o mga karanasan. Criticisms and Limitations Cultural bias, PSI's research primarily focused on Western, middle-class children, leading to concerns about the generalizability of his findings to other cultural contexts. Pangunahing nakatoon ng pananaliksik ni PSA sa mga Western, middle-class na mga bata, na humahantong sa mga alalahanin tungkol sa pagiging pangkalahatan ng kanyang mga natuklasan sa iba pang kultural na konteksto. Age ranges, some critics argue that the age ranges PSA assigned to each stage are too rigid and that individuals may progress through stages at different rates. Ang ilang mga kritiko ay nangangatwira na ang mga hanay ng edad na itinalaga ni PSA sa bawat yugto ay masyadong mahigpit at ang mga individual ay maaaring umunlad sa mga yugto sa iba't ibang mga rate. Individual differences, PSA's theory does not account for individual variations in cognitive development. Ang teorya ni PSA ay hindi isinasaalang-alang ang mga individual na pagkakaiba-iba sa pag-unlad ng cognitive. Legacy PSA's theory significantly influenced educational practices, emphasizing the importance of active learning, hands-on experiences, and scaffolding. While some aspects of his theory have been challenged, his contributions to developmental psychology and our understanding of cognitive processes remain foundational. Many contemporary DORs have built upon PSA's work, incorporating new insights and addressing some of the limitations of his original model. Malaki ang naiimpluwensyahan ng teorya ni PSA sa mga kasanayang pang-edukasyon na binibigyang diin ang kahalagahan ng aktibong pag-aaral, mga hands-on na karanasan, at scaffolding. Habang ang ilang mga aspeto ng kanyang teorya ay hinamon, ang kanyang mga kontribusyon sa psikolohiya ng pag-unlad at ang aming pag-unawa sa mga proseso ng pag-iisip ay nananatiling pundasyon. Maraming mga kontemporaryong teorya ang nabuo sa gawa ni PSA na nagsasama ng mga bagong pananaw at tinutugunan ng ilan sa mga limitasyon ng kanyang orihinal na modelo. During which stage do children develop basic motor skills and explore the world through their senses? A. Sensorimotor stage. B. Preoperational stage. C. Concrete operational stage. D. Formal operational stage. What is the process by which individuals incorporate new information into their existing cognitive structures? A. Accommodation B. Symbolic thinking C. Assimilation D. Object permanence What is the key characteristic of the preoperational stage? A. Improved conservation skills. B. Mastery of basic mathematical concepts. C. Imaginative play and understanding of symbols. D. Abstract and hypothetical thinking. In which stage does the development of metacognition occur? A. Sensorimotor stage. B. Preoperational stage. C. Concrete operational stage. D. Formal operational stage.
What is the primary focus of Piaget's theory of cognitive development? A. Emotional development. B. Social development. C. Moral development. D. Cognitive processes. What is the age range for the preoperational stage in Piaget's theory? A. 2 to 7 years. B. 7 to 11 years. C. 11 years and older. D. Birth to 2 years. What is the process of modifying existing cognitive structures to fit new information or experiences? A. Object permanence. B. Egocentrism. C. Accommodation. D. Symbolic thinking. Which stage is characterized by an increased ability for problem solving and scientific reasoning? A. Sensorimotor stage. B. Preoperational stage. C. Concrete operational stage. D. Formal operational stage. What is the main limitation related to age ranges in Piaget's theory? A. Egocentrism. B. Lack of conservation skills. C. Cultural bias. D. Rigid progression through stages. How did Piaget's theory influence educational practices? A. Emphasizing the importance of abstract thinking. B. Highlighting the role of emotions in learning. C. Promoting active learning and hands-on experiences. D. Focusing on social development. Please compare your selected answers with the answers listed in the answer key provided. If your chosen answer matches the one in the answer key, mark it as correct. After reviewing all the questions and answers, calculate your final score based on the number of correct answers. Point three. How did you score? Did you achieve a high score? If so, congratulations on a job well done. If not, don't worry. You can review this video to further enhance your understanding of the topic. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13 
I hope you found our teacher Lumaban self-learning video enjoyable and informative. If you gained new knowledge from this video, we would greatly appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to share it with your friends. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We value your feedback. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We hope to see you again in our next video. May God bless you always. Welcome to the Teacher Lumaban YouTube channel.